have a uh, copy of the minutes of January the 17th in the packet. I'll entertain a motion to approve those minutes. Motion approved. Motion by Lori. Seconded by Johnny Bruce. Any additions or changes? Questions? Seeing none, we're ready to vote. Although in all those in favor, smash the are we ready? ready? Smash the green button. Those opposed, smash the red button. And then smash the confirm button. Mm -hmm. Everybody opposed and cast change the vote. Mr. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> 12 yes, two absent, and one vacant. Minutes are approved. You have a list of the uh, notary renewals in front of you. Entertain a motion to approve them. I'll move. Second. Second by Johnny Bruce. Second by Johnny Bruce. Any additions? 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 Okay, everybody that's in favor of approving the uh, notary renewals, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then press your confirm button. Charles Baird. Everybody satisfied with your vote? Nobody wants to change their vote? Take the vote. We have 12 yes, two absent, and one vacant. Do we need for Mary to call out how everybody voted? I'm going to look for our minutes. That's the way we are today. Okay. Ayers. Just read out for you. Just read it out. So I'll just say Ayers, yes. yes okay. Ayers, yes. Baird, yes. Bruce, yes. Davis, yes. Evans, yes. Hall, yes. Baird, uh, Hatmaker, yes. Nance, yes. Ora, yes. Rutherford, yes. Walding, yes. And Bobby White, yes. Another number of renewals are approved. We also have a list of the new applicants. Motion to approve, Motion to approve new applicants by... Mr. Hort, seconded by Johnny Bruce. Any questions? By the ready to vote. All those in favor of approval, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then you get your confirm button. Everybody has voted. Anybody wish to change your vote? Take your vote. <coughs> The easier she announces the ones that's actually no no goes that way. Just announce all the commissioners that you pray to vote No, I hate to have to go through all that unless it's an action. Well, she had to put it in the minutes who named the ones that voted yes. It requires the a roll call. Yeah. Ayers, yes. Bayers, yes. Bruce, yes. Davis, yes. Evans, yes. Paul, yes. Hatmaker, yes. Nance, yes. Bork, yes. Rutherford, yes. Walden, yes. White, yes. That's 12 yes. Two absent and one vacant. Motion carries. Now I'll uh, entertain a motion to <coughs> approve all committee reports. Yeah, that motion is <coughs> here. Motion by Oric, seconded by Johnny Bruce to approve all committee reports. Ready to vote. 
ready to vote. Those in favor, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then hit your confirm button. Anyone wish to change their vote? Make the vote, sir. Announce the vote, Mr. Clark. Ayers yes, Bayer yes, Bruce yes, Davis yes, Evans yes, Hall yes, Pat Baker yes, Nance yes, Ford yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, and White yes. Twelve yes, two absent, one vacant. New reports are approved. This time we'll uh, entertain a motion to approve all budget amendments and funding resolutions. We have a budget amendment 218 to be added into the mix. It's in association with the uh, item that uh, Commissioner Evans placed on the agenda for the Oswego Industrial Office. entertain a motion to approve whatever budget amendments you want to approve and then we'll discuss this lightning after y'all make the motion. Chairman Barry. I make a motion in life as we got tonight to approve two one through two seventeen and then we can go on to eighteen separately. That's fine. Uh, okay we have a motion to approve budget amendments two one through two seventeen. Right here, second. Second. Lee Ayers, second motion. Motion was made by Rusty Orrick. Any discussion? Conflict. Sorry, Bruce. We have to stay that conflict from simply talking to school. Before we vote? I'm assuming yes. So. Okay, we're being ready to vote. All those in favor of budget resolution 2-1 through 217. Vote yes. Those opposed, vote no, and then pressure confirm button. Anybody that needs to state a conflict can do so at this time. Your Honor, I'd like to state that I have a conflict. Okay. I have a conflict also, sir. Bob Walden, Steve Rutherford, Johnny Bruce. Calvin Evans. And Alvin Evans. All are stating conflict. Right, they should do that if she's I do nothing. And so next. Everyone that voted, anyone wish to change your vote? Yeah, we have conflict with the motions for this. Take the vote. And announce the vote, Madam Clark. Bayer yes, Bayer yes, Bruce yes, Davis yes, Evans yes, Hall yes, Pat Baker no, Nance yes, Orrick yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, White yes. Here we have 11 yes, 1 no, 2 absent, 1 vacant. <coughs> Budget resolution 2 1 through 2 217 are approved. Now that I hear a motion on 218. Motion by Alvin Evans, seconded by J.L. Davis. Budget resolution 218 is concerning the uh, Fifth Brown property over in the Oswego Industrial Park. 
previously the commission had appropriated fifty thousand dollars for the purchase of this property that was sold to Mr. Brandon some years ago. And in communication with Mr. Branham on our county tax rolls, it's valued at $78,300. And I talked to him and had a couple of discussions with him. He did not agree to take $68,000, but he said to put if I would put that in the, in the written, a written offer that he would look at it and then get back to us. A property that valued on the tax records at seventy-eight thousand three hundred dollars, fifty-two and a half acres, joins the uh, other property that the county has over there and has a big industrial park. Anybody have any other questions? What, what do we plan to do with that PMO? It'll just be used for industrial property to go with what we We don't have anything right now. That's no, we did uh, reply to a, a request this last week that could use part of this property. Rusty, you have a question? That's the property that we actually had sold to that gentleman and then we end up reverting it back and he's not going to use it. Is that the property was talking about? We sold it to him. He had so long to develop it or do whatever. Years ago. Well, that was I guess that was the agreement but it never was put in the deed. And uh, we we sold it to him for like fifty thousand dollars and uh, you know we made that offer back to him and he was not interested in taking the fifty thousand dollars. But he didn't turn down the sixty-eight thousand. It's valued at seventy-eight three on our tax rate. Marie, does it join other property that we currently own? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Could I? Sure. Uh, you all are probably not as familiar. With the uh, Oswego Industrial Park, says you're stretching an hour, an hour of their lives. Up there at Creek Moore House Road, which is blacktop and used for the main road now. Up to Oswego, from down there where the radio station is, that comes right up through the industrial park. It's the lower end of it. Okay, it makes a curve and goes on around to the, to the church and on up around the Douglas Cemetery. That road is already cut and laid in there to go straight right on up through right, right through this property road and everything's done into it. Uh, then at one time, the, our predecessors thought enough of it to condemn the property and take it away from individuals who didn't want to sell it. Some of that land could be used for building lots if you could use it to restrict it on you today. But uh, it's well worth the money. Uh, Jeff asked me what I know about it. I told him I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> One more question. Yes, ma'am. Where's the eighteen thousand coming from? It's from the four nineteen fund. Which is they know what the fund is. And we have uh, the we have fifty nine thousand dollars of what used to be tied to the index fund balance in the four nineteen fund. And that's the same place the fifty thousand originals came from. We're just adding eighteen thousand more and that in the end of the sun down to eighteen to get down to forty one thousand Mr. Chairman. Yes. This mic ain't working. Um last week we talked about maybe using some of the money out of that fund for an industrial recruiter. If we buy this land is it not true that it takes it off the tax roll? Yes. And it's on the tax roll right now. Are all the taxes paid up on it? Uh, I, do, I have no idea. I would assume. I think would be better. Money would be better spent if we looked at 
had an industrial recruit, like Rusty was talking about. If you don't, if you don't have any property, why well, you need an industrial recruit? Go to the industrial market. We've got more industrial property than Ken. We're talking about La Folly, I'm talking about Jellico. There's already some more there, ain't being used, are uh, There is, I'm not aware of, of where it is. Correct that, Mr. Mayor? There's about 17 acres, 18 acres next to it that joins it that the county has. Mr. Plotty? Depends on what you want to put there. Mr. Chairman? Uh, yes, sir. As it relates to the conversation, and I'm sure everybody can have full breast knowledge, um, at the request of the mayor, I uh, run up some review of the financial position in regard to the discussion about the industrial recruiting. And in the uh, 119 recurring budget instrument, there's approximately $40,000 that is appropriated annually that we call PC1101 support that we get from the county 24,000 and the city 16. Those dollars plus very few other dollars amount to the total of what I'm going to call flexible dollars in the 119 recurring appropriations. Our balance that we ended up with in the 119 fund um, three or four years ago was the byproduct of several years of non-utilization of those months, those rolling over and being reserved and rolling over and being reserved. Since Mayor Barrett's been elected, a, a good amount of those monies have been expended in both the recurring fashion as well as the commission appropriating portions of the balance um, last month we used $90,000 as a match for the um, business incubating grant. That's where those funds came from. It was the residual of the rollover. With the present amount available, as you can see here, 41171 in what we call the undesignated, you got about $60,000 in what I call the restrict the PC-1101 enterprises. You've got a total of about 100 grand left in that fund. Um, the business incubator grant that was approved here last month has a component in it where um, once the program is implemented, there will be a um, need for a recurring coordinator. And you may have saw it in your grant document that there would be somebody that initially is going to be employed through Tech 2020 with the outcome hopefully being employed by the county once Tech 2020 gets it all off the ground. And it's okay. It has been my understanding that roughly the $40,000 I'm talking about flex monies, and there may be another 10 grand in the non PC 1101 money, so the public people would have to be utilized for the coordinator positions two years out. So in the grand scheme of things, two years from now or a year and a half from now, there's not going to be any money within the 119 fund to have a recurring industrial recruitment. The only person that would be able to be employed with those money would be the coordinator of the um, business incubator program. Now, my understanding was that everybody understood that, that that was had been been made aware of and everything else so when you get to the spot of wanting to talk about adding an industrial recruiter as a yet again additional position beyond the business incubator program then we're talking about having to generate revenues to provide for that but if Rusty. But if once you start this and you try it for a year with a contracted person as an industrial recruiter, can you hear me? And uh, if it kicks off very well, then you're going to be bringing businesses in or industry in in that case, then it's going to set itself in that place. And I can see both entities being worked together. I understand in a year and a half, so you got a year and a half once it's going to go to that point, Jeff, and then that money's going to go for that incubator program. Am I right? Yes, 
for the position. So you've got over $100,000 that you can actually put in place for that for a year of trial. And if it does good, you know, yeah. keep your industrial recruiter on. If not, then... Well, let's say, let's, let's go to July 1. Okay. Right. Let's go to July 1, 2012. July 1, 2012, um, the position for the, and I'm going to call them the system, I don't know if that's an appropriate term, but we made a budget amendment this past month that said we were going to appropriate $21,850 with all the clerical personnel in the 119 budget and it's specific to go uh, for the position for the business incubator person local. Now those monies, as I understand it, will begin to be expended as soon as the grant cycle pars off. It wouldn't be 18 months out uh, before you start spending those money. Now if I'm wrong in that, then I'm wrong, but my understanding is they're on the table present that it wouldn't be like a year and a half or two years from now that we could reach and stockpile that eighty thousand dollars for you. It's going to come out right here. Starting this budget cycle with the this budget cycle. Correct. And how much money did you say that we had in it prior to? Eight fifty is the is wage it? amount, and then there would be uh, retirement and medical insurance on top of that. So you're looking at twenty one eight fifty, another five thousand dollars for medical insurance at twenty six. Uh, another possibly five thousand dollars in Social Security, workers comp, Medicare, retirement. So you're probably thirty thousand dollars, thirty five thousand dollars total. the forty. Yeah, the forty. And we have right now presently in that line with excluding this for that set aside for the industrial group and position that you talked about a while ago. No, we don't have any money set aside for an industrial recruiter. I thought you just said that we had $40,000 set aside each year for that industrial recruiter, and we've been using all that money. No, we have $40,000 of what I'll say uh, called flex dollars that up to this point have not been appropriated for any specific recurring item. In some years, those monies might be appropriated and be used. In most years, they're be appropriated and not used, and they fail to a reserve. End of every June 3rd, they lapse. Those monies begin to stockpile and got us up to roughly $200,000, $225,000 of total reserves. From those reserves, in the last two years, we've spent almost $150,000 of those dollars, getting us down to residual now of roughly $100,000 remaining. And that's all that you have in quote-unquote reserve dollars. So you could use your remaining reserve dollars to attack an industrial recruiter with the knowledge that you were using a non-recurring source to attack it as a non-recurring outlay. But you wouldn't be able to have any recurring dollars to add to it or to utilize in the future cycle because all those money are now committed to this business incubator program. But once you try it for a year, you know, and this is something's going to be talked about once we get into the main commission meeting, but it actually needs to be discussed now, I guess. But once you get into that position, that industrial, and try it for a year and not, not, not being reoccurring, and on a trial basis, and if it kicks off and it does well, then you can find a funding source that will keep it going. You act like I've lost you, Jeff. <laughs> I, uh, I'm following everything that you're saying except for one major part. We find the Where to get the recurring funding to keep if it you, going. That's what I'm saying. You try it for a year, and if it doesn't work out, you've tried. But if oh, it I kicks mean. off and you're bringing industry in here and it, it adds to the county, well, it'd be stupid to stop, so you need to find a funding source at that point, point in time. If you brought enough industry in to produce enough tax base to generate the ongoing uh, employment of it, then yes, I agree. Uh, but all I'm saying is you only have enough money in your reserve as a non-recurring outlay to probably do one cycle beginning July 1, 2012. That's all I was getting to. And that was what my idea was, to try it for a year with a contracted person 
and and not hire an individual that stays on the county's payroll. They, they do good. They they'll they'll strive to do better. If not, then there you are. The, uh, but I know also that I've been to Oswego's and I've looked at it. I you've got to have property. I mean, you've got to have property to work with to entice people to come in. Go ahead. I'm, I, I just wanted to know about the funding. I, I want everybody, since the conversation all merged into one, I want everybody to get all the pieces at one time. The $18,000 one way or the other is not going to either um, uh, catapult the um, uh, notion of the industrial recruiter into being or is it going to prevent it from being Any other question about the uh, resolution that we've got on the floor? This guy can still turn this thing right now. Yes. It's just, just a proposal. It's a proposal, an offer to him. You can either accept it or reject it. We raise the vote. Those in favor of the uh, budget resolution 218, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then hit your confirm button. Everybody's voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Take the vote, sir. That's the vote, Madam Clerk. Mayor Jess, Bruce Jess, Davis Jess, Devin Jess, Hall no, Hatmaker no, Nance yes, Borick yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, White yes. That's 10 yes, 2 no, 2 absent, and 1 vacant. The uh, resolution passed. We have the uh, uh, initial $4.16 million bond resolution to be approved. And then, and that's on the Energy Efficient Schools of Michigan Price. Do I have, have a motion to approve the bond issue for the, uh, for the bond resolution? For the education department. And we have to do it in the so mayor. We have to vote first on the initial resolution, do a vote, and then we have to do an authorized vote on the authorized vote and do a vote. So we got a motion and a second on the initial resolution. A motion to approve the initial resolution for the bond. Fund. Motion by Rusty Ory, second by Bob Walden. Anybody have any questions? Discussion? We need a state of conflict on that, probably. Bobby White. Uh, I was looking at for one, Bobby. I didn't see it. It's not numbered the part of the number it, uh, when she puts it into the music. Okay. It's left blank in here for that part. Is everybody have a copy of it? Okay, all those in favor? Vote yes. Those opposed, vote no, and then press your confirm button. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, sir. And that's the vote, Madam Clark. Mayor Jess, Mayor Jess, Bruce Jess, Davis Jess, Evan Jess, Paul Jess, Hatmaker Jess, Nance Jess, Boric Jess, Rutherford Jess, Walden Jess, White Jess. Do we need to state some kind of conflict or anything? Before I announce the vote, can anyone need to state a conflict with <laughs> Johnny Bruce, Sue Nance, Bob Walden, and Steve Rutherford announced that they do have a conflict? But they are voted. 
And Alvin Evans. We have 12 yes, two absent, one vacant. Initial resolution is approved. Now, what's the next thing, Jeff? I need a motion to approve the detail authorizing the bond issue. We have that. Thank you, Chair. Authorizing the bond issue. We have a motion to authorize the bond issue. Do I hear a second? Alvin Evans second the motion. Any questions? Any discussion? Okay. And all those folks that need to state a conflict of interest. Johnny Bruce, Sue Nance, Paul Evans, Bob Walden, and Stephen Bruce. All state that they have a conflict of interest that are voting anyway. Okay, all those in favor, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no, and then press your confirm button. Everyone's voted. Anyone wish to change their vote? Show us the vote, sir. Ayers yes, Bayer yes, Bruce yes, Davis yes, Evans yes, Paul yes, Hatmaker yes, Nance yes, Ford yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, White yes. You have 12 yes, two absent, one vacant. The uh, motion is approved. Now the next. We have the resolution 2012-0221, which is the revenue allocation to the highway fund. We are taking a motion to approve resolution 2012-02-21. That has to do with the uh, sales tax resolution and the highway department fund. I hear a motion to approve. Yes. Motion by J.L. Davis, seconded by Rusty Ork. Any question or discussion? <laughs> Does anybody need to state a conflict on that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those uh, for the resolution, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then press your confirm button. Alvin Evans, you need to vote, sir. One way or the other. Charles Bear, are you voting? Okay, everyone's voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. Announce the vote, Madam Clerk. Ayers yes, Bayer yes, Bruce yes, Davis yes, Evan yes, Paul yes, Hatmaker no, Nance yes, Oric yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, White yes. We have 11 yes, one no, two absent, one vacant. The uh, resolution is approved. Anything else as far as funding? The reports. Okay, next I'll entertain a motion to approve uh, reports from all county officials and all departments. So moved. Thank you. Second. Go ahead. Motion by Bruce, second by Nance. Mr. Chair. Yes. We're missing the Board of Education minutes. Planning Commission report, North Regional EMS report. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, we, did we always have a, we never have a school board? No, they don't uh, see anything. <laughs> Bruce needs to start getting that together. <laughs> yeah. We will approve the report absent North Regional EMS and County Planning Commission report for February 
that correct? And the board did Yes, sir. The 911 reports, they fall under the same category, right? <laughs> Yeah, they do. If we get in, it looks like they didn't have a meeting on the 26th due to lack of membership. And the did they ever send a new one out? Yeah, I have a new one. Any other questions? Uh, is there a reason why we don't get the sales tax reports? For all of that. They will come in and uh, um, the day. So the yeah, I've got that, but we didn't get it until tonight. Is there a reason? They, they don't the come until after the 15th of the month. Usually, maybe a day or two before the commission meeting. Mm -hmm. That's every month. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. Tom, did you receive the state day 216? I had no today. Yeah. Anybody else have a question? Thank you. Okay, everybody in favor of approving the report? Vote yes, vote no, and then pressure confirm that. Okay, so that's all the items that we have on the agenda. Any other items that we have on the agenda? Yes, Bayer's yes, Bruce yes, Davis yes, Evans yes, Paul yes, Hatmaker yes, Nance yes, Borg yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, White yes. Twelve yes, two absent, two bacon. Four star fruit. Next under <coughs> other matters. We have a uh, request from Environmental Services to designate uh, five vehicles, a uh, stir plug. Yep. So, Second. A motion by Oric. Second. Second by Tom Hatmaker to uh, approve the request to designate these five vehicles. Surplus Mr. Chairman? Yes. For uh, clarification, in declaring the surplus, are they being declared surplus to be offered for solicitation or be processed through the uh, regular um, jump man out of the um, fuel pop operation or to be declared the last day to be disposed of? Um, I think the, the first four, the, uh, the man that has been buying out uh, junk is the only one that came to the middle. Mm -hmm. The uh, last one, the United International, the city of Jelco, may be interested in. One of the things, uh, what we need to do then is uh, we need to separate the motion and make a motion that says to declare the four in question as surplus to be sold to the uh, junk guy that's already coming picking up the stuff. Right. And then on the fifth one, um, we have to solicit because I know of no way to offer it to a governmental organization, think about that stuff. Well, what we did before is uh, we got the uh, value from the pickup truck. From a different car dealer. Yeah, the value was established. And then we took the uh, maybe an average or something. And, I, I think, and I should ask Joe to give his opinion as well, from one governmental organization to another governmental organization, 
I think that what we could do there would be as opposed to declaring the surplus and offer participation, you would declare surplus and you would donate the thing to uh, the city of Jellico and, and in turn Jellico would make a contribution back to the county and an established fair price if you were to swear out. That's how I believe it to be worded to make sure that you cross all your T's and dot all your I's. Uh, Joe, does that sound reasonable to you? What, what is it worth? Yeah. You know, Mayor, what is worth as a general rule? Uh, Don told me and I think that I was It was either three or four thousand dollars in the I would suggest you should go ahead and pass the motion along the lines of what what was suggested here. And if there's a problem with that, then we we can redo the bid next month. Well, the bus did we need to uh, to uh, okay. vacate that motion and make one that would be to the, the four vehicles to fire them surplus and sell them to the young guys already picking up the mail on the uh, at the hilltop operation. Happy your first one. Which Rusty. Two Chevys and uh, two GMC pickup trucks look like. But the international, right under it, there's a few more items. There's, them items just the loader it's itself it's, going to it's all all that in one whack. Yeah, it's all what one it's all one. So that bin number that bin number covers that whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll make that motion, I'll change the motion if I can. Reword it. Nineteen eighty four to nineteen ninety five to ninety seven and for those two actually two ninety seven uh, GMC and Chevrolet trucks to be sold for scrap. Oh, four vehicles sold for scrap. Second, five. Uh, I'll have my four vehicles. Mr. Chairman, got four vehicles that will be sold for scrap. Everybody understand the motion? Mr. Chairman. Um, I'll wait till Jeff gets down here. Jeff, are the, are the first four here, are those on the impound lot, or do these belong to environmental services? They belong to environmental, environmental services. services. Are any of them operable? I don't, I don't know. One of them, uh, One of them will run the transmission shop and all these back shops. Another one is still operating yeah. on the transmission shop. Another one is just not the whole truck. It's not a whole truck. It has these parts taken off of it. It's that stuff that got the state option that they brought in here, right? And got the use on it. Right. What kind of shape is the one that Jellico was interested in? It's in great uh, shape. No, it's, it's a good shape. No, it's, 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 a, it's a great it's a garbage truck. And it's, uh, the, yeah. I forget what that makes it. I think transmission is bad. And, uh, well, it does have some issues. But <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> they have expressed interest in it, so we've got a truck that they can take parts off of this one and, and make a good truck out of it. Mr. Chair, yes, sir. I believe the reason the motor is listed separately is because the motor is out of the vehicle. It's yes. actually blown up, and that's why they want to get the new vehicle. It will cost more to fix right. this one. We put that money for it. We're way ahead of the game. At least it's out ready to be fixed. Yes, sir. it's out ready to be fixed. Any, any other question on the first four, four vehicles? Okay, we're ready to vote. Favor, vote yes. Vote, vote no. And your friends confirm that. Okay, everybody has voted. Anybody wish to change your vote? Okay, show us the vote, sir. Now the vote, Mr. Clark. Mayor's yes, Mayor's yes, 
Bruce Jess, David Jess, Evan Jess, Paul Jess, Pat Maker Jess, Nan Jess, Ora Jess, Rutherford Jess, Walden Jess, White Jess. It's 12 yes, 2 absent, 1 vacant. Motion carried. All right. Now the next one is to approve as surplus the International 1989 International to establish a fair market value. Well, I, would, I would just say what you're saying there, establish fair market value and then sell to the city of Jelton. Okay. I'll make a motion on that Cadillac, provided we got the money. Okay. We've got a motion from Alvin Evans Davis. Second by J.L. Davis. Any questions about the 89 International? Okay. What we're going to do. Okay. All those. We, we cleared our lots of bad years. <laughs> Right here. Okay. All those in favor, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then pressure confirm that. Okay, everybody has voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, sir. Announce the vote, Madam Clerk. Ayers, yes. Bayers, yes. Bruce, yes. Davis, yes. Evans, yes. Paul, yes. Hatmaker, yes. Nance, yes. Ford, yes. Rutherford, yes. Walden, yes. Walden, yes. Can we get some uh, antique tags and county <laughs> toilet over there? You'll have to take that up with somebody else. <laughs> got 12 yes, 2 absent, 1 vacant. Motion's approved. Rusty? Can you make sure these have been took off the insurance? I'm sure they have. Right. We will. If we if they're not. <laughs> okay, the next thing under other matters is the addendum to the equipment lease agreement with uh, North Regional EMS. You approved the initial addendum last month. This month we're coming back and asking you to approve exhibit A. Yes. I'll make a motion. Motion to approve by Evan. Second by J.L. Davis. Any questions? Okay, all those in favor? Vote yes. Vote opposed. Vote no. And then pressure confirmed by. Okay, everyone is voting. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, sir. Announce the vote, Madam Clerk. Ayer Jess, Bayer Jess, Bruce Jess, Davis Jess, Evan Jess, Paul Jess, Hatmaker No. Nance yes, Ford yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, White yes. 11 yes, 1 no, 2 absent, 1 vote. Motion is approved. Okay. Next is the contract with Tech 2020 for the business incubator that's been approved by the FMS committee. Entertain a motion to approve this uh, Tech 2020 contract. Motion by Bruce. I'll second. Second by Bob Walden. Any question in discussion? Just a, I guess a clarification. It is this one, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so Tech 2020 will contract with a local, experienced entrepreneur or business executive for a one-year period. 
So the way I read that is they would hire someone locally right. and read on through here. Ultimately, you're the manager they will, over this. They will train this person to operate the program. But it will be somebody that currently lives in Campbell County. Yes. And are you, I mean, ultimately, if it goes for the one year and then transfers over, then we're going to be the ones putting the bill for that person. Do you have input on the person now that they're going to? I will. Bring? So we have advisory committee made up of people, business people, and so forth in Campbell County mm -hmm. that will be involved in this. And it says within five years, the ultimate goal, which is just that, a goal, that it will be self-sustaining. Right. So, I guess that's all. I just, I guess, ask that you take yeah. a very active role in this person. Right. And we would not have gotten the grant if we had not used that for the work. Right. They've been successful. Right, I researched them. Okay. West York is the chamber. Are they working in? Yes, they're a partner. They're right. partners in this too. If you have to say so, right. right coming on. There's no way that he else could be that person. They can do that extra job duty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make no. sure. I said somebody else could do the job. Just right. I'm looking at the dust and recruiting me. Okay. We're ready to vote. Those in favor, say vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then press the confirm button. Everyone voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Go to vote, sir. Announce the vote, Madam Clerk. Ayers yes, Bayard yes, Bruce yes, Davis yes, Evans yes, Paul yes, Hatmaker no, Nance yes, Orrick yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, White yes. 11 yes, 1 no, 2 absent, 4 vacant. Motion is approved. One more thing, the, uh, the motion to approve the sheriff donated two cell phones, two unused cell phones to the city of Jacksboro. So that's the motion to approve. Second. Second by Sina, motion by Ori. Any questions, any discussion? Yes, this is just the equipment. That's all. Just, yeah, they're just. Okay, everybody ready to vote? Those in favor, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then press your confirm button. Everyone's voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, sir. Announce the vote by the party. Ayers, yes. Mayor, yes. Bruce, yes. David yes, Evan yes, Paul yes, Hatmaker yes, Nance yes, Orrick yes, Rutherford yes, Walden yes, Quant yes. Twelve yes, two absent, one vacant, both is approved. Okay, now we'll go to the county commission. Marie? I don't like it when David's not. <laughs> Hmm. I'd like to make a motion to approve Commissioner Corner when I find it. Second. So the motion by Harris, second by Hatmaker. We will approve the Commissioner Corner article. Sorry. Hannah 
find out two things, so we'll go over the next one in a minute. article addresses it's just information about the sales tax but I guess my question is should we should I modify my motion and list the ones that vote yes as the commissioner or what, what's your it's not opinionated it's just information so your commissioner's corner <laughs> article is the commissioner's corner is about the sales tax referendum on March the 6th. It's just information about if it passes and it's up to the voters, um, how much it could increase the, the revenue. But I'm saying if there's anybody that don't want their name attached to it, we can vote on it as commissioner's corner and I'll list each commissioner's name that votes yes. I don't know. It's just the first time we've ever had a tax. Well, however, however you want to make your motion, definitely. Just leave it like it is. It's already been made and taken up. Okay. Anybody, anybody have a question or a problem? Mm -hmm. Is this? No, no way. Right. This is just education. Right. It doesn't say please vote for it. It's just if you vote and if it passes. Yeah. This is what it is. Yeah. She's talking about the Commissioner's Corner article. We're not talking about the letter to the editor at this time. I'm unclear, though. <laughs> is she trying to put individual names on it? I have two different things. We're not talking yeah. about this one. It's just this no. one right now. Okay. This, You're we've not, already got a, I'll explain a this one in a minute. Motion on a second gotcha. just to <laughs> put this in as it is. Gotcha. Just as we normally do. Okay. okay. We're ready to vote. Everybody, in, and all those in favor, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then pressure confirm button. Everybody has voted. Anybody wish to change the vote? Uh, yeah. Okay. Anybody wish to change your vote? Show us the vote. Announce the vote, Madam Clerk. Mayor Jess, Mayor Jess, Bruce Jess, David Jess, Evan Jess, Paul Jess, Hatmaker Jess, Nance Jess, Ford Jess, Rutherford Jess, Walden Jess, White Jess. Twelve yes, two absent, one vacant. Motion is approved. Now, I would like to make a motion to approve the letter to the editor, and it will only be signed, or the name will only be included by those to sign off. I have a master copy. So if you vote yes before you leave here, I need you to sign here. If you vote no, your name will not be included. This is per the editor that I spoke with at the press. But everybody has to sign if they want their name attached to it. Um, okay, we have a motion. Do I hear a second? I'll second that. And Mayor, for clarity, is this just uh, uh, an item where it doesn't have anything to do with passing or failing? Simply those voting yes have signed the vote, no one, the article will go forward with our. You will send right. a letter. You will send a letter to the editor with with their those that are approved of it. will sign it. The editor said that we could not do a public service announcement if we were doing anything other than just the language on the referendum. Therefore, I ran this similar one last week just from me. I was the only one put my neck under there. But if you want your name attached, we present it. And it's just free letter to the editor. Just another way to get the word out. I just wanted to make a point of clarity that it's not a vote of approval or non approval. No. It's just a guest vote means. Are going to sign no vote means you don't want to. Right. 
everybody understand what we're doing. Those in favor, those yes, those opposed, those no, and then pressure confirm. <coughs> okay, everyone has voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, sir. Okay, announce the vote for Madam Clerk. No. She has one over here for everybody to vote yes. Bye. Ayers yes. Mayor yes. Rose yes. Davis yes. Evans no. Hall no. Hatmaker no. Nance no. Ford yes. Rutherford yes. Walden yes. White yes. Eight yes, four no, two absent, one vote. Yes, Motion is approved. Okay, three. Hang on, I have to do another. I don't know <laughs> if I can even do this, but I guess I'd like to make a motion to request the county clerk's office to sell the state building permits. That's if you don't get a new building permit. Currently, they don't sell them. I've had a lot of people complain. So I'd like to make a motion. If I get a second, we'll talk about it. I'll second. We have a motion. Two seconds. Bob Walden, we request. County clerk to initiate the contract with the state to sell state building permit. Yes. If I can explain first, I, I talked with a gentleman in Nashville. It's over the code enforcement because I've had several people call complaining. You know, the guy who is cleaning over this proposed to general permit. They purchased their local permit, but they didn't know about the state. Two of them have had their jobs held up because when the electrical inspector came, they didn't, the they didn't have the state. So it's a little bit confusing. We didn't have a lot of money. It wasn't really publicized, I don't think, real good when we first had the codes to start. And um, for convenience of the taxpayers, that's the other complaint is... You know, the county offices are there for the taxpayers. And if I go to buy my one permit, they've already had to stop, take the information. They've already got everything, to the best of my knowledge, they would need in order to sell the other one. And it's $15 that the county will get for selling. I know it ain't much, but this month, I think it would amount to about $75. And... I don't know, I just I guess for the convenience of the taxpayer and the contractors, if they can sell them. Okay. You can get them at candles or potters they okay. want. I will not do it. I had an option when the first is elected to do it and I turned it down and I will not do it. Can you tell us why? Because I don't look at people in the public who don't have to be able to money from them. But there's nothing at the clerk's office even showing I didn't even realize this till I came and bought mine for my $11 or whatever it was, the local one. And that's why they were all complaining. I'm thinking, just go buy it. But, pardon? I've had four physical builders, contractors to call me. And I said, I said, well, I don't know exactly why they don't sell them. Maybe they don't want to have to tell people they're there. And one comment was, well, if they're going to be in that office they're going to have to tell people so i guess i'm just looking at 15 dollars per permit and for the convenience of the taxpayers i, I don't see what's wrong with selling them well honey i work 90 hours a week now i'm trying to bring in revenue to the county through state sales tax and I guess what I'm saying is if they're already there to get the permit, you've already got the information, how much more time and trouble would it be to sell them? Can I say something? 
Mr. Sue? You really don't have the information. It's based on the price of the structure they're building. Mm -hmm. And there's no way we have that information when they come in. I give you that when I got my local one. They asked me what was the cost of the Yes, thing but and we I don't have any way to confirm that at all. Neither does Potter's. Well, that's, that's okay with Potter's. I'm just saying the guy from the state said the only way to remedy the complaint There's is people's jobs getting stopped and so right. forth is that. What, what about if she just puts up a sign saying, you know... But that's still an inconvenience. Right, you're required to have a state... Else building permit as well and here are the locations where in the county where you can buy. Anything better than nothing but when we're four hours we're going to make it. Okay we have uh, Bobby White. Uh, Mr. Chairman Ms. Wilson is Elected like vote superintendent for the rest of us, and we really can't tell her how to run her office. That's why I said I made a request, though. Well, I mean, and you know, if she says that she is not going to do it, I mean, I, I really see very little point in, in voting for her. <laughs> okay. I was just asked to bring it. That's all. We have a motion and we have a second. So we need to dispose of that. So all those motion is to request that the county clerk contract with the state to sell the state building permit as well as the county. Okay, all those Favor of the motion, again, opposed, of no, and any pressure confirmed by it. Everyone has voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, sir. You got everybody. Hmm. <laughs> It's asking for the mayor to cast a tiebreaker vote is the reason it's not going to be William? Oh, <laughs> There we go. Okay. Spared no, Ayers yes, Spared yes, Bruce no, Davis yes, Evans no, Hall no, Hatmaker yes, Nance no, Ford no, Rutherford yes, Spalding yes, Flight no. Six yes, seven no, two absent, and one vacant. Motion failed. You, you asked him that question. <laughs> I'll ask you after the meeting. Is that, yeah, we'll start that on the next meeting. About the six months. It shouldn't ever ask that question. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the software. Can we do it? They're like working on a, uh, uh, a, a renovation to it presently. It doesn't. Depending on there's a certain way that you have to set it up to get it to do what it's supposed to do. Our house rule has eight yes votes to pass anything. And, and, and the, the software doesn't recognize it. So we need to do a tie vote on that. What it is, it's a tie vote. It's a tie vote. It's a tie vote. It's a tie vote. Even though that tie vote may not make the motion high. So we have to have that vote. Correct. Okay. Uh, anything else, Marie? Uh, no, okay. 
J.L. Davis. Uh, last week we were discussing a little bit about this sales tax venture and how we need to get public educated a little bit. And if it makes a sum, you know, we can't use taxpayers' money to advertise right. and nobody would want to do that anyway. And I suggested that some of the commissioners might use some of our own money to make a contribution to money for that. And maybe some people pretty, seem pretty much in agreement with me. And uh, I don't know uh, just exactly who these might be in that sort of land now and indicate how much they might be willing to give. Uh, and you all have a copy of the little pamphlet or a copy of this. Pretty good information or pretty good publicity advertisement for passage of the uh, sales tax referendum. If you want to take part of this and make information in that. Where we get these at? Where we get these at? Should y'all print these up? No. Someone handed it to me at the uh, workshop. Yeah. Hey, how did the, how did the commissioner put the job with right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what do we need to do? We want to promote the uh, You would need to decide we can ask, we can ask Jennifer something about the price. Do you know anything about the price? About the you get, yeah, eighth of a page, quarter of a page, uh, half a page. Uh, Mr. Sawinski can tell us. Will you find out from Mr. Sawinski what he charges for? You have somebody else that handles the ads for you. And prices, all that stuff. And prices? Yeah. She has a list. It's my new. Okay. Do you get tax relief now? Do you do that taking money out of the special fund to do it out of pocket? No, I'm not suggesting that it's prescription. No, no, no. I'm saying that it's out of pocket. You're just personal. Right. That's what we do when we do the discretionary taxes. I'm saying doing the same thing, but this will be coming out of the pocket. Yeah, do what, Marie? I said, who will create the ad? Because it'd have to be in by right. noon tomorrow. You got a cheap space that's available but you're not using it. <laughs> well, what kind of a ballpark figure do you got with that? I have no idea about that. Anybody here have an idea? Mr. Chadwell, do you have an idea of what an ad in the press quarter of a page cost? What about you, Boomer? Hey, David, how much did we pay for the food put in the staff? Staff will cut this up. We we had to put a quarter page ad in the paper today for the announcement that the staff referendum is going to be voted on, and it was two sixty five for a quarter page ad. And Mike was one hundred fifty. So do we want to pass a sheet around? Peggy yeah. would have a sheet with everybody's name on it. Yeah. And if you want to contribute, sign it and tell how much you contribute. So this would be an ad promoting the sales tax. An ad to promote the sales tax revenue, the passage of the sales tax revenue. Uh, uh, although you might not be able to get it in this Thursday's press, you still get next week. Thursday's press on the first. Right. So, and you know, as we've talked before, I think that uh, you're probably going to get as much bang for your buck as close to the event as possible. In my opinion. 
Because you get something very late, you know, or very late, yes, March the 6th. You get something. Well, we're not better off to do like Jeff said. Try to get something real good because you know yeah. the next on the first. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 The stuff that's in the uh, little thing that Fred hands out, very good uh, information. Yeah, well, it's good, isn't it? Um, I'm not very artistic, but uh, somebody who has that kind of skill set to make get something really good. Uh, David, do you have that skill to, to make up a, uh, a good advertisement like that one? I don't, that's something that I'm not real good at. That's what I would suggest is somebody that you can get to take this information and make it a, a good um, pro ad. And then, uh, uh, like I say, you know, the cost will be about 250 bucks as a general average cost. We can go from there. Maybe if we all give enough, we can get with Fred and get him to print. Good. Five, 500, uh, <laughs> roughly 500 bucks. Uh, we cover you one time in both phases, $450. Four phases. I'll do 100 too. Okay. Got left, will you get some there, Yeah, you can get some more. Maybe you're going to get a, a sheet that you'll pass around you off the side, put the man on there, and we'll go from there. That's the stuff. <laughs> okay, we've solved that problem now. Anything else, JL? I uh, know. Okay. Alvin, we've already taken care of your yes, sir. I understood that that time. We just appropriated the money. We didn't actually. We didn't actually take any action to, to make an offer. Yeah, you need to make a motion to make an offer of sixty-eight thousand dollars to Mr. Cliff Branham for his fifty-two acres, fifty-two and a half acres in the uh, land in the Oswego Industrial Park. So we had to authorize. And I'll the if you're able to get the second line You get all that money. <laughs> the motion that we're getting ready to vote on is to authorize the county mayor to uh, make an offer of $68,000 to buy the 52 and a half acres of Cliff Branham property in the Oswego Industrial Park, APA. You have a, a sheet with everybody's name on it. Up here. Call the commission. Okay, and to authorize the county mayor to sign the necessary documents to complete the transaction if, if accepted. Yeah. We're getting ready to. Everybody understand the motion? Yeah. this around. Anybody that wants to contribute to the ad to promote the sales tax referendum, sign and put the amount of money out there beside it. Okay. Okay. Is everybody ready to vote? Those in favor of the motion, vote yes. Those opposed, vote no. And then press your confirm button. When we got to give it. Everyone has voted. Anyone wish to change your vote? Show us the vote, sir. Announce the vote, uh, Madam Clerk. A. 
Mayor's Mayor's Bruce's, Davis's, Evans's, Hall's no, Hatmaker no, Nancy's, Warwick is, Rutherford is, Walden is, White is. Ten yes, two no, two absent, and two and one vacant. Motion carries. Okay, that's all for you, Mr. Evans. Okay, Beverly. Do we need to make a motion to approve it? Have you got what? the resolution made up here? It's you've got a copy of it right there in front of you. Let me go ahead and make a motion, then I'll explain the resolution. I need to make a motion to approve the two hundred thousand dollar uh, resolution to attend the official grant with a hundred percent no match, no cost to the county. Now well, that won't work. <laughs> we thought it was we thought it was a hundred percent, and it's actually there's three different options. You get a, you can apply for a twenty percent match, a forty percent match. Or a 50% match. If you apply for a 50% match, you're going to, you're automatically going to receive a grant 50 percent with a 50% match. They will take those grants, approve them, money that's left over, and they'll drop down to the request that are requesting a 40% match then they will approve those as long as this round of money holds out if there's money left over then they'll go to those that have requested a 20% match and they'll approve those on whatever basis they decide to do it on. It actually starts with and Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just remove my motion on that because I was mislaying. Right. When I, when I, you know, attended the meeting. You were misled. Yeah. We just didn't know what, we well, just didn't no, know what. No, it was 100%. That's what, that's what the other grant was, and then we didn't get the right. information. That's fine. But what's the total money they have to work with? Uh... I don't know, but I was told that if we request $200,000, 50 max, that it will be approved. Mayor Barron? Yes, sir. The, uh, the three categories of cleaner alternative energy, energy conservation and air quality improvement, would we be under the second one filing energy conservation? to try to uh, make the building more energy efficient than how our grant would be filed. Where is the Sancho Bay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, actually, I wasn't in on that meeting. I think actually Melvin was the one. Stan, how much money is it going to take to replace all those windows? Because what I'm hearing, and I drove by it the other night, and it looks like some of them have done collapse between them. And I know we're losing electricity, energy through the window, the heat and cooling. How much money How much money are you talking total grant and all to replace all the windows? Do you have an idea, figure? Was we going to apply for it all at one whack? Right. <coughs> you have to do it in separate grants, but the one that's worst right now is the back building. Am I right? And right here too. But applying for the grant, do we have? Do you know if we have the match that we can come up with? If we do our granted, we may not be granted the grant. Granted the grant. <laughs> the first one, what we got a couple of years ago. Yeah. It was 100% and they changed the grant status. Now they've changed the criteria. Five year program. Well, you just don't know. I've always tried to be an advocate to save energy, and you've got to put money for sometimes to save energy. But I don't know about these windows, but I know, and I know Yun's all work up there. But I drove through there night, and when you see the the center bars broke loose, they're gone. 
ma'am. I, I, I took a walk through that to our building up the annex office in the fall. I went with Kevin, the service officer. One door needs to be replaced and a total of, I think, four windows. And he concluded to me he don't see any reason why all those windows need to come out. One door, the two doors we've got up there, the glass doors were put in probably a year and a half ago, year and a half ago. Good, good doors. They're, uh, they're, to me, they're energy efficient now. Side. I just, I just like me and him. We don't, we don't think it needs it. Mr. Chairman. And there's going to be, a, if, if we're going to have to match a fund, I don't think the taxpayers need to put money on it. Tom, um, th this comes through building and grounds, and it was approved based on the fact that this right. was 100% uh, funds. I agree with Beverly. I have been up there and physically touched every window in that place. So they don't None of those windows are cold. I mean, you can't feel the cold air coming off. Let it go. I would it. suggest getting a bottle of Windex and some paper towels first. <laughs> I, I went and looked at them, too, and I'm not disputing you, but I've seen the two at the bottom before they operate. The seals are broke on a couple of them, but they're not cold. The bars that crosses in the center of the sections is broke loose. They're shot. Well, you don't know no no air gone gas between that that's going to protect. You're just throwing your money out the window, but if, <coughs> if that's what... I'd say not doing that. We've got the matching, I don't think we got a motion and a second not to seek the grant. Is that what we're... I was through the one on the having the having the uh, match the right. matching grant. Your, your motion was to replace four windows in the door. In total, I think a six is what it was. Six, six, six and one door. And one and door. That's my second. Without seeking grant, I can see. Without. We have a motion and a second. Which do what? Second by White to replace four windows at, and a what? A door. Four windows and a door at the back building. Counting money. How are we going to do it? We got the phone to the courthouse. Yeah, for four windows and a door. Four windows and a door. Four to six. <laughs> Let's just say a total of six. We'll give it. We'll give it option two. Might need to be stronger. So next been what? Three weeks ago that I looked at. It. It was so six windows in the door. At most. Alvin Evans. For twenty percent, looks like it'd be worth a gamble to put six windows in the door. Twenty percent. I mean that's. You know, pretty good odds if you get it, but if you don't, you can you go right back and do the six and one. But I, I mean, it seems like it's logical to twenty percent. I like it that so much. We're not, we're not guaranteed that there's going to be any money left when it gets. It you know, it's I understand that, well, but just, from just putting it in there, you know, for the grant. And if you get it, you got it. If you don't, just throw the money. You're throwing the dice to get around. meeting on March the 1st at 6 o'clock here in the courthouse to fill the third commission vacancy on the county commission. We have already sent, we've already sent to, to the press the notice. 
in the okay after the outcome of this meeting. So if you're for this, so yes. If you're against this, so no. And then the rest is confirmed. But Anyone wish to change the vote? Everybody needs to stay calm. Oh. <laughs> Show us the vote, sucker. And have the vote, please. <laughs> I'd actually brought up that about industrial recruiter. I've actually did this a couple years ago, and it didn't make no grounds to be moved forward. Uh, Light of what we found out tonight about the money in which I think Scott County's mayor actually got out and talked to some business and solicited some money. He did. And a couple of pretty good hefty salary to start and try it out. I'm going to try it for one year. I don't know how you feel about it, but coming up with that funding source, I mean, there's enough to go through maybe one cycle. I've heard it. I guess I heard it from the public that we need more jobs. We need more jobs. You know the economy's down. And it's hard to draw them jobs in. Now, Clinton, they've kind of went downhill in the last few months. Some shit rock bottom like Scott County. And they're trying. They're grabbing at straws too. But you got to look at Anderson County. They picked up a lot of Knox County's in because Knox County's out of the problem. I don't know if you're aware of that. Knox County actually helps Anderson County become more significant in this in this endeavor. But with all the things that happen, what do you feel? Do you just feel like that you want to do this tonight and try to come up with a funding source? You want to look into it more next month and try and do some kind of budget formula. But I don't want to hire an employee. I want two contractors tonight. That's my feeling. Try it for a year. If it don't work, if he's not performing or she then that's when you step back and you say, hey, we've got to do something different. You want a motion? I'll give you a motion. <laughs> Let me just ask him a question, Mr. Mayor. Okay. I'm going to make a motion that we actually, well, we, can't, we don't have a budget amendment to put forward. We done went through that cycle. We actually make... You want to make a motion? I want to, to make a motion to research to research it, and then next month we come up with the money. Research somehow, form, fashion. If the mayor come out here with his little hat, and play a few songs on the sidewalk, get some money. But uh, I'm gonna make that the motion. We do some research. Everybody study about it and get time in. I know it come up quick, but it's something I've looked at for years, and every county's doing good with. But Scott, I'll second that. Second motion. Motion by Orange, motion by Pat Baker to uh, research hiring industrial recruiter. We'll report back in the next workshop. 
let me say one more thing. I, I'm taking nothing from you, Mayor, or nobody else. But if we get to this point in the road, if we do, I think, you know, it's hard to have 15 bosses. I know that. But the commission needs to be kept at the end of what's going on. You know, we don't need to wait a year later, well, here he is again, or she is. We need to look at it on a monthly basis and push for it. Yes, sir. Is it possible that the I'm going to call the coordinator of the uh, incubator? Business incubator could not be both the coordinator of the business incubator and the industrial operator. Uh, well, yep. I believe that it's not a and I'm not that person had the market money from $21,000 a salary. No, that's now, the assistant. Oh, assistant. Contracted person? No. No. That's what I'm looking at. I mean, when you get that, you know, that, that'd be a contract to the house. They're contracted to us, and they have to be an employee of Tech 23. And industrial recruiter, you need someone that's a certified economic developer. There is a program that people go through that are industrial recruiters in other counties that are certified economic developers. Let me tell you something I've learned through life. I, and, and education is the greatest thing you have. I'm sorry, I don't have a whole lot. But that gumption to get out here and work and to strive to do good, I, I don't see a lot of that anymore, Mayor. I'll just be honest with you. It right. just seems like... Mayor, will these people be people in industrial recruiting in Little Valley County? Don't we have 1650 or 1650? You've got it. 15 people on the development. Have they ever met? Yeah, we have one time. One time. It's been in place how long? Two years? Uh, we're going on two years. Why do they never meet? Well, <laughs> there's time. I don't have time. I have to talk about it. Well, there needs to be some people on it that have time. Mayor Baird? Yes. The person that's going to be hired by the tech to run the coordination of the business incubator, couldn't that be um, specified that that person be a certified economic developer and kill two birds with one stone in that one? Uh, then you're, you're thinking you're not going to find anybody in Campbell County. Really? Mr. If Barrett. you do, there might be... How long does it take to become qualified? It's a, it usually takes three years. They have... Uh, and then look at it from that point. Three years go by really fast. I don't know who, you know, 
people that's going to do the hiring. It's not going to be us. I'm sure we'd make a mess out of it. But you've got to have somebody strong that's going to push the county. Right. And, and we can get in, we can get information next time. Well, let's let's work on it. I mean, we've got a few months before the budget cycle hits. Okay, we've got a motion. Second.